Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be doing another journal flip through video. This is my second journal flip through and if you would like to see my first one, I will link that in the description. I'll keep this introduction short because I have a feeling this might take a while to get through. Like my first video, I've kind of like used different bits of paper just to cover a few things that I don't really feel comfortable showing to you all. So that's what these little bits of paper are for. So let's get started. So on this first page, I'm just talking about how my phone is kind of screwing up a bit. It didn't work for like a few weeks, and this is like when it started not working, which is really annoying. And it was also my friend's birthday as well. And just talking about school, um, in textiles we just did some practice little things for our <laughs> textile project. And when I say like textile little things, <laughs> I'm talking about like hand embroidery and needle felting. And I think this day we actually did needle felting. And I helped paint like these wooden letters for our music festival. Oh, and I was also talking to my teacher about dropping modern history as a subject because I really wasn't going too well in it. And yeah. So on this page here, I've just got a bit of cutouts from our school newsletter about our school music festival. And I have my quote of the day, as usual. And I was actually writing this using a... um calligraphy pen but I've kind of failed using it. So on this page here I've just got the quote of the day, my journal prompt. This was uh, about riding a bike. Yeah, write about learning to skate, to ride a bike, to climb a tree or to turn a car wheel. Yeah, um, I remember first learning how to ride my bike without training wheels. I was rolling down like this hill that's near my place and I was just like screaming out to mum and dad, yeah I can, I can ride my bike. Proud moment. Yeah, proud kitty moment. <laughs> Um, on here I've got songs on pause. I put this on my Instagram page like way earlier, like yeah, around June. <laughs> Back in June on my Instagram page, um, I was writing down the songs that were on that happened to be on pause on my iPod, and I just wrote down whatever song it was. And I've just got songs by Katy Perry, Ed Sheeran, Hillsong, Iggy Azalea, Alan Walker, I Prevail, John Legend, The Rent Collective. Uh, Taylor Swift and Birdie. So up here I'm just talking about how one of my YouTube videos took like really quick to upload because our internet got upgraded and I had my English assessment the next day and I was not excited for that. Um, got our journal prompt from five years old from now. Wait, five years from now I will be 22 years old and hopefully doing TAFL Uni. Um, I forgot what this was from. What was this from? I think this was from a youth group. I went. I think I went to youth that day and we got like a little handout, like a little cutout thing. Um, this was from a zipper that we used to make our little like sample things for our textile art project. I'll actually go get it. So the zipper is from like this thing. This is like the brand that we used. And all these cutouts is from my teacher who helps like um, size and all that. So this is all from that. Oh, wait, this is from that. <laughs> um, if you actually have no idea what I'm talking about with textile art, um, if you haven't watched any of my videos or don't follow me on Instagram, it was one of my projects um, that I had to do for textiles at school. We had to make something that had, well, involved textile art, and it just had to be like a heap of like, not a heap, but just like surface decoration techniques. And if you actually want to see what I made, I have it in, on my Instagram page. Um, just scroll down a bit and it should be like a purple journal which I made and yeah, it, I don't know how to describe it. It's got crocheted flowers on it so yeah, you know, surface decoration. <laughs> so that's that. This day, I th yeah, this day was my English assessment and I went to the library as soon as I got to school just to kind of do some study notes for it and I was pretty confident about it and I think English was like... It was early in the morning, I think. So we had to write a paragraph about, um, I forgot what it was about. I forgot what the assessment was about. Um, oh, goodness me. Oh, I think it was like Australians at war or something like that. I don't know. But, um, it had to be, we had to include a poem and I did homecoming and it had to, oh, wait, homecoming and the last laugh, I think. And it had to include a song, I think, as well. I th yeah, it involved a song, but I forgot what the song... Oh, yeah. When the war was over. Yeah, so... That was my English assessment. 
So one of the librarians at school said that the book I had ordered for my modern history assessment came that day, so I was really happy about that. Um, I started reading it and making little bits of notes. Um, it was a book about uh, the Khmer Rouge, because that was a uh, topic that I just chose. We could choose our own topic about like modern history, and we had to come up with our own question. So yeah. Um, and I just made little bits of notes um, here. This is from the assessment. We were given this like on our desk, and I kept it, and I showed it to my friend um, before she had her assessment. It really wasn't, like, to be honest, it wasn't cheating because we knew we would get this. Like We've already seen it. It's, it was part of the assessment notification, so I wasn't giving her advantage, if that's what you were saying. And when she looked at it, she just wrote, I'm so screwed. <laughs> so, yeah. Here are just some study notes for oh, ancient history. We just looked at the Campus Martius and we had to come up with, oh no, had to come up, we had to find the source for um, the assessment and we had to remember them and it was really stressful because I was worried about forgetting the name of the source. So, yep. So on this day I was talking to our youth ministry officer and told her that I was kind of interested in helping out at our church for an event. I started actually making my textile art project. I cut out my fabric, the inner facing, and I even dyed it, I think. Yeah, I also got time to dye my fabric, yeah. Um, we had some research time for modern history. We had English, and we borrowed our class novel Raw by Scott Monk. It was our class novel, and we had to write an asset we had to do an assessment on it, which was submitted like last month, I think. Last month, yeah. And it was just about changing perspective. This day also we had Upbeat auditions. And Upbeat was the music festival at school. And I was part of the committee so we were able to judge um, the people who auditioned. Um, here are some watercolour samples from a discount store. And where these paints came from were from this set here. And this was only about... Oh, I forgot the price. I think it was about... $16? Around that. It was between $16 and $20, I think. But They weren't too expensive, and they don't even chalk, which is amazing, and I really, really liked that. So here is actually a map of car parks at my school. Um, our year group has um, some problems with driving, you can say. They're a bit reckless, and they don't really park where they're meant to, and... They kind of speed off every now and then, they're a bit unsafe, you know, so we had a meeting about that and we were just given this map about where we need to park and just rules we need to follow, otherwise we'll be, really wouldn't end well. Um, this is some working out from maths, I have no idea what this is, I do not want to think about it because I am dropping maths, anyway goodbye. So this page is kind of plain Jane only because I was staying at my nan's place that night. Here are just some questions that were asked in my ancient history assessment because I had that because I had it that day, and I wrote down the questions just to kind of I don't know remember what they were. And so yeah, I was actually happy with the responses that I made. My friend drew this eye with watercolors, this thing which is absolutely oh it looks so cool. On this page here, I'm just talking about how I got some new shoes from Kmart. This is the receipt from those shoes. Uh, receipt, from, receipt from Woolworths and this is like a Titan bar from Aldi um, and these are the most tastiest things in the whole world they're like oh it's so nice um, this is the, this is the quote of the day uh, keep moving on okay I am so disappointed with this page this is like one of the worst pages I've tried to do in my life so I had used um, tissue paper and I cut it down to A4 size and you know just printed on it and I got a photo of Taylor Swift from the I Knew You Were Trouble music video. I tried to paint the page red because you know it's from the red album, the song, and I wrote down the whole introduction to that song and I kind of got impatient and this, the red didn't dry in time and the ink smudged, ran, all that. And it just sucked. And this is tilted. It needs to be straight. Like, phew, this is annoying. I just... Ah. So, this page sucks. I know. <laughs> uh, so, here is... There's, like, writing on the back of these, but I don't think I'm really comfortable showing them. Um, 
so these are like little things there. They're like little pockets, and I kind of got creative. Uh, so this is tissue paper. It's not tissue paper. These are napkins, and I've glued them on the page, and I've made little pockets and put like little cards in there, and it is writing on the back, like I said. Here is a. This is a receipt from when I bought uh, these. These little A5 display folders that I was talking about in my last video. Um, let's put that back in there. Um, just some more notes I made on that book I was reading for Modern History. This is from Youth Group. Oh yeah, yeah. A youth group that happened at school that day. And we just read through um, this passage from Matthew in the Bible. These are 7 Tips for a Happy Life by Father of Galea. He is a priest who has a YouTube channel and he does uh, weekly videos, I think. Either weekly or fortnightly. And he, I've met him before. He's like, oh, he's so nice. He's like, the, oh, he's awesome. <laughs> um, and I just wrote it down, what he was saying in his video. And I really like how I've set it out. So, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> so this page here I've actually shown on my Instagram page. Not um, the writing itself, but how I laid it out. So, we did stuff for our Year 11 Maths, and we were talking about rehearsing and run-throughs for singing, because I was going to be singing for it with a few other people. Um, one of my friends put up an iPhone for sale, and I told him in advance that I was going to be buying it from him, because, you know, like, it's an iPhone, and I don't have one, and I kind of want one. <laughs> so, yeah, I knew in advance he was going to be selling it, and he put it up for sale, and someone ended up buying it. So, I got dogged. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't end up getting it, but I was going to pay him. I was going to pay. Like, mate. So on this day here, we got back our half-yearly reports, and this was a letter that was left in our reports just saying, oh, congratulations for completing halfway through year 11. So these were pretty much my marks and averages for my report. Um, absolutely went crap in maths. <laughs> Ranked 73 out of 80 people in maths. Go me. And that was general. And that was general maths. And general maths is like the easiest out of the maths that our school has. And it's not even a compulsory subject. And I chose it anyway. So I'm really done. And I'm definitely dropping this. I ranked 12th out of 13 people in modern history. <laughs> And I was originally going to drop modern, but I've actually kind of got the hang of it now and I've kind of gotten better. So I'm going to be keeping modern, dropping maths. Went excellent in textiles, kind of went, um, actually went really good in ancient, went decent in religion, went good in science, and kind of went okay in English. This is a new, new kind of layout that I did. It's pretty much the same as the one I showed earlier. I've got backgrounds of I think this is just paper yeah pattern paper and I've got the back of cardstock here and I've just written on it using some line paper dump that in there so this day here um, was the our school assembly and there was like some kind of presentation thing and they had like those party popper things that you like you pull the string, stuff comes out. <laughs> um, and I picked some of it up and I ended up cutting like it into like tiny chunks and gluing it in my journal. Because, you know. Quote of the day, my earliest memory, and that was my grandfather's funeral, and I was three. Yeah. This is a script from our school assembly uh, about what I was talking about. Yeah, I was talking about our music festival. This is a little flower that I did with watercolours, and so it's, it's kind of almost pretty much dead set in the middle, and that's what I was aiming for. Um, this is another page that kind of sucks. These are, these are lyrics from Castle by Halsey. It goes down, it's not across. I don't know what I was thinking, so it's like, I'm headed straight for the castle. They want to make me the queen, but it should be just straight across like that. I'm like I don't know what I was thinking, but it happened. Um, so, this is just another day at school. We started talking about head protection and skeletons and muscles and science. Um, 
we watched Gran Torino in English for changing perspective. It was just it was that that movie was kind of an example of changing perspective and we actually ended up not finishing it. We watched most of it, but not all of it. And it's a pretty good movie, so watch it. Uh, this is a ma- this is a letter that I got from Ignite Youth. Um, I was away literally last week, literally one week ago. I actually got back from this. It was a, a Catholic youth conference that was held in Brisbane, and we just got a letter for it. Uh, this this was for two thousand seventeen, and it just gave us some some details, and I was really 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 pumped. <laughs> Um, this page, decent, no, not really, I tried to be creative, um, I don't know what I was thinking about the grey, I could have just left it white or even painted it black in watercolours maybe, not grey. So here's just the quote of the day and if you guys know what Magic the Gathering is, um, I'm not going to even bother explaining what it is, but honestly. <laughs> but um, my friend gave me some of their cards, but like apparently to them these were useless. And they just chucked it out. I'm like, what are you doing? Those are cards. And they're like, oh, they're useless to me. So I took them, I got them out of their bin and I kept them. <laughs> they know I kept them, but um, yeah, I just, yeah. Uh, these are lyrics to... Oh god, what is this song? This is literally on repeat. Um, what is it? It's um Um Love Love Secret Love Song. Secret Love Song. There you go. Yeah. Secret Love Song by Little Mix. The chorus is literally the most relatable thing in my entire life. Honestly, like I just can't even deal. I can't deal. So this so I went to Target and they had like a dollar Sharpies and I bought like a crap ton of them. And I did uh, some swatches of them. This is from a youth group uh, that was happening at our lo at my local church, and I went to it for the first time, and it was so fun. So this is a receipt from when I just bought some um, what was it double sided tape. Uh, this page is conquer from within. Is just the quote I found online. Yeah, just on Google Images. And it was really, really good. It was a really nice looking page. And do you know where this blue is from? Buddy, this. I ruined it. I ruined it. I See, I'm the most impatient person. I didn't let, like, this dry in time. And see, it's, you can't, you can just see it, but it's smudged here because I didn't let it dry in time. And I have this on my Instagram page as well. And it, looked okay. It looked actually decent. But I don't know. I just had to go through a crap ton of watercolours and paint circles on it. Because, you know, creative. And I just did another quote. And this is the first time I actually started to use like acrylic paints in my journal. Um, I got a tissue and just dabbed like little bits of paint on it. And I actually first went through with uh, a wash of green watercolours. And yeah. I actually kind of like this page. I actually kind of Looks good, I think. That's what I think, at least. <laughs> this is just from when I bought some tape, decorative tape. Um, these are just some samples here. Um, I got, I got, I bought more sharpies because they were still on sale. So I've just got the quote. I went to Aldi and I just bought some licorice. Um, oh, A3 sketchbooks. Um, there, there was like this A3 watercolor pad, and I bought the rest of them, and they only had three left, and ended up buying them. Um, I bought what was this? Oh yeah, I bought pearl paints, and I've just got samples here. If I can, ugh. Ugh. go. There we go. Yeah. So this is pearl purple, pearl wine red, and pearl sapphire. And this is kind of like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a label from some journals that I bought. And they were in fact, um, these ones. So this label is from these three that I bought. Here it's got a bit kind of creative. I have these old like stamp pads that kind of really don't work anymore and I kind of went around the edges of the page and I put in a quote and I tried to do the same thing with um, that page that I just showed 
But, um, I was kind of stupid. And I went through with the stamp pad and you can hardly read the writing. This is literally a permanent marker and the permanent marker literally just seeps through the stamp pad and you can hardly read it. But if you can't if you can't read it, I don't blame you. What it says is ten things I can do in my town and I've just got go to the beach, pat a koala, play pat pat golf, go on an adventure walk, go karting, go to a historic museum. Whale watching, see a movie, walk along a break wall, and go on a junk boat. So on this page here, I am really, really proud of. I really, really like how this turned out. This is on my Instagram as well, if you want to look up what I did. But even though you're looking at it, go like it on my Instagram. <laughs> so um, I just got a cutout from a magazine, and I just got a friendship quote, and I just got this like flower border. And I really like how the colours have kind of blended together, I guess. And I tried to go in with like a little bit of orange, but it kind of didn't really blend a lot, but um, it kind of did what I wanted to do, which was just kind of add a bit of colour, a bit of jazz. As soon as I said jazz, the meme from the B-movie just came in my mind. You like jazz? You like jazz? You like jazz? Oh my gosh. So on this page here, I've just got like duct tape background, and I've just got some lined paper and I've written on it. This is from a uh, school, I think. No. Oh, no, I think, um, I think this is the school holidays now. I'm not sure. I think it might be the school holidays because I remember doing, yeah, doing my modern history assessment the whole day, wait, the whole morning and took a break every now and then. Yeah. So, um, it was the school holidays now and I was doing my modern history assessment which is due the first day back at school. Brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So this day I was uh, dropped off really early at work and it ended up going for a long walk. And to tell you how early I was dropped off, I was dropped off four hours early to work. And that was because my dad was away and out of town. And my mother had to drop me off early because she had work when I was working. So like, she couldn't take me because we lived too far away from town and, you know, I wouldn't have been able to get to work, so I had to be dropped off early. Had no chance. Had no choice. So I went for a really warm walk, and on the way back, it was like this beauty salon, and they did ear piercings, and I booked to get my ears pierced, because I was bored. Literally. That is what I did. I walked back, and I said to myself, I'm bored. I'm going to book to get my ears pierced. So that is literally the reason why I was bored so I booked to get my ears pierced. I booked an appointment. Yep. And do I have regrets? No. And this is from that walk. I just took some photos of where I was walking and I, it was 8.51 in the morning and I just I climbed a cliff. I climbed on a cliff and I took photos going out and same here. So this photo here is just another one from that walk and this is pretty much almost in the same location but just walking back. Um, I don't know what I was meant to go here. I think it was, um, I'm not sure but something was meant to go here but I just didn't end up printing whatever it was. So it would be a mystery of what that was meant to be. So this was the next day and this is when I got my ears pierced. Uh, I just got a little bookmark. I think this was either after I think it was after I got my ears pierced, maybe. It was either after or before. I went to a, I went to the bookstore after I got my ears pierced. Yeah, because I was with my friend. Yeah. I remember. Okay. So, this is me just sitting down in the waiting room, and they gave me, like, a glass of water and a Mentos, and it was just so fancy. Like, it was just... Oh, my gosh. And it smelled really nice in there. <laughs> so, um, I had to fill out this little form... And just gave me a glass of water, form and earrings, and I just got my hand sanitizer in that photo there. Um, this is just me sitting on the bed in the ear piercing room, just and I was just swinging my legs back and forth on the edge of the bed. I just got my earphones there, just chilling, waiting to get stabbed with a gun. If that makes sense? Wow, stabbed with a gun, shot with a gun. <laughs> well, technically, you're actually getting stabbed by a gun if you get your ears pierced, like. Am I right? Or am I just completely wrong? 
Literally, because, like, okay, I'm just going to stop. So after I got my ears pierced, I went to my friend's work, and she knew I was getting them done, and she um, shouted me a soy hot chocolate and a apple turnover with whipped cream, and it was really, really nice. Um, back to, like, this little bit. So after my friend finished work, I actually waited for, I actually waited for my... So I'm um, back to this page here. I actually waited for my friend to finish work, and I think... I went with her to the bookstore, so, yeah, and to be continued, so that is everything in this journal, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, comment anything you'd like to see from me down below, I'm actually having a Q&A, hopefully, in the future, if you want to ask any questions, comment them down below, or go to my Instagram page, at the, the, what? at the journaling addict and there'll be like a picture just saying Q and A and it'll be like yellow on a black background and just put them in there put 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 the question either on that photo or just comment them down below here and I'll also just link my um, Instagram page in the description as well so I hope you all have a great day afternoon good night whatever wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you later. Bye.